So what's up guys, the Dragon Ball Super Drafts have just dropped and we already have a summary of the events, courtesy of Dragon Ball Hype. So I'm going to break down, I haven't even read this yet, I'm going to read this and sort of give my thoughts and show you guys some of the pictures of the drafts and let's just jump right into it. So Goten and Trunks are dressed as superheroes and repeating their catchphrases. They are the clean up superheroes Saiyaman X1 and X2. Wow, X1 and X2, that must be... Uh, a Mega Man reference. They're trying to stop a robbery at a jewelry store in Mosquito Town, located in West City. The robbers and the victims are confused by what is happening, but one of them recognizes that these two are the heroes who have been stopping crimes recently. One of the robbers pulls out a gun, but Trunks destroys it and says that he will not forgive him if he continues to make the town dirtier. He takes the destroyed gun, puts it in a plastic bag, and returns it to the thief. <laughs> That's weird. They then try to attack with knives and punches, but the cleanup heroes dodge and fight back. Defeating all the bandits and reassuring the people after they climb a building, they go back to practicing their lines and poses. So, it's just uh, superhero antics so far. Um, so, they wonder if they are not too similar to a hero named Clean God, who has a poster on this same building, but Goten says that the fact that they are a duo sets them apart. Goten's phone starts ringing with an announcement that there has been an incident of theft. Trunks says that 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 will be their next mission, but apparently it is a cyber crime. Neither of them knows much about the computers, so they give up. It is at this point that Chi Chi angrily calls Goten and he starts to change clothes, putting on his uniform. Trunks says that he would like to upgrade their hero suits and that he will ask Pilaf to do this. And then Goten hands his suit to Trunks as he takes off on the Nimbus. Now, Goten riding on the Nimbus is freaking cool, but the rest of this just kind of seems like the introduction to Goten and Trunks as superheroes. I wonder if that might be the superhero that Dr. Hito looked up to. I don't know. This is interesting. I'm really wondering where this is going. The fact that they brought up some sort of cybercrime is strange. Obviously, from what I'm seeing here, this is going to be some kind of interaction on Earth so far. This isn't going to be anything too crazy. Now, looking at the draft pages, we, of course, have the draft page from before that we saw with Trunks, or with Goku eating with Beerus. Uh, of course, Beerus and Goku. I think that's something that people kind of overlooked about that draft page, too, is the parallel between Goku and Beerus' relationship in comparison to Vegeta and Frieza's relationship. I actually think that's a pretty cool parallel because Goku's over here eating and chowing down with the God of Destruction, and Vegeta is essentially, like, pissed off because, you know, Frieza's around. So, if you look at one of these draft pages, you'll see that there's, like, some mystery characters on the right of Goten and Trunks. I'm not exactly sure who that is. Actually, it looks like that might be Mai, and it also looks like that's Dr. Hito with his zombie crew. So Dr. Hito might actually be the villain of this whole thing. Who knows? And and, and grown-up Mai is around, so that's interesting as well. Wouldn't it be interesting if uh, Trunks and, and Goten are the reason that Dr. Hito is in jail at the start of Dragon Ball Super Superhero? That would actually be really interesting. But that's interesting. I guess they're going to be some characters uh, in this arc. But yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the helmets. With Goten and Trunks, I'm not a f huge fan of how the helmets look, but, I mean, they look awesome without the helmets. It's just the helmets I'm not really crazy about. Uh, they're just, like, your standard helmets with giant S's on it, you know what I mean? I really do like seeing Goten and Trunks hanging out on the rooftop, acting like superheroes, though. I do think that that's cool. So, again, seeing Goten fly off on Nimbus was also really cool. So, we didn't get much uh, out of the drafts. We do know that this is going to be some major Trunks Goten superhero antics going in uh, headfirst to the new Dragon Ball Super manga. So, we'll see how that turns out. I, I To be honest, it's, it's definitely a change of pace. It's definitely slowing down the high stakes, uh, you know, god-tier enemies that we've been dealing with in Dragon Ball Super. And I know not many people are going to be a huge fan of that because most people are fans of these gigantic threats, but... Keep in mind that the more Dragon Ball content we can get before the end of Z, the better, because there's only so much they can do. There's, on, there's only so much they can do in the story with the time that they have while Goku and Vegeta are around, while Trunks and Goten are around. Like, their time is finite. Like, they're taking advantage of all the pre-end of Z events is actually really smart because, you know, you can do a lot more with the characters. There was a lot of room to do things 
uh, that we never would have got to see otherwise. If you if you rush too far into the end of Z, then you're going to miss out on all these opportunities for things that they could have done prior to the end of Z. Whenever Goten and Trunks are relatively young, Vegeta and Goku are still around. You know what I mean? So just kind of have fun with it, you know? I know the idea of it not being this huge god-tier threat is, is sort of a letdown, but again, like, it, it's a cool little side story for Goten and Trunks, and I'm, I'm hyped for that. I don't think it's going to be a very long arc, just based on what I'm seeing so far, but I do think that it's going to be a fun ride, just because I enjoyed the Saiyan Man antics from the Boo Saga. And keep in mind that this will lead into... Toyotaro's version of Dragon Ball Super Superhero. So it's not going to be just Trunks and Goten's antics. It's not just going to be just them running around as superheroes. But it will also be leading into the epic events of Dragon Ball Super Superhero in manga form, which is really cool. So I don't expect this stuff with Goten and Trunks to last very long. But I do expect it to be something, a good change up, something, you know, fresh for us to enjoy. Uh, and something to establish the fu- to establish the future of Goten and Trunks as characters. I think I think they deserve you know some more character development. We need to learn who Goten and Trunks are outside of their childhood identities because all we know is little Goten and Trunks. We don't really know much about their identities or the future of their characters outside of what we've seen from them as children. You know you could you can kind of maybe say that GT might be some sort of a indicator for what they might do, but they might do something totally different. I mean, nobody knows at this point. That's all we got for today. That's all the drafts gave us for today. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Any new content that gets released, I'll cover it immediately as fast as I can. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.